Hello everybody, it's lovely to see you all. We are missing you at school. I hope you're all safe and that you at least are getting outside and enjoying the sunshine. So I'm going to read you a story, one of my favourites. The title is Five Minutes Peace and the author is Jill Murphy. Here's the end papers. Look, there's Mrs Large and all the children following behind. And there is the baby with his breakfast on his head. The children were having breakfast. This was not a pleasant sight. Just look at that. Mrs. Large took a tray from the cupboard. She set it with a teapot, a milk jug, her favourite cup and saucer, a plate of marmalade toast and a leftover cake from yesterday. She stuffed the morning paper into her pocket and sneaked off towards the door. Where are you going with that tray, Mum? asked Laura. To the bathroom, said Mrs Large. Why? asked the other two children. Because I want five minutes peace from you lot, said Mrs Large. That's why. Can we come? asked Lester as they trailed up the stairs behind her. No, said Mrs Large, you can't. What shall we do then? asked Laura. You can play, said Mrs Large, downstairs, by yourselves, and keep an eye on the baby. I'm not a baby, muttered the little one. And there they all are, following her up the stairs. Mrs Large ran a deep, hot bath. She emptied half a bottle of bath foam into the water, plonked on her bath hat and got in. She poured herself a cup of tea and lay back with her eyes closed. It was heaven. <sighs> Can I play in my tune? asked Lester. Mrs Large opened one eye. Must you? she asked. I've been practising, said Lester. You told me to. Can I? Please, just for one minute. Go on then, sighed Mrs Large. So Lester played. He played. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Three. And a half times. On his recorder. In came Laura. Can I read you a page from a reading book? She asked. No, Laura, said Mrs Large. Go on, all of you, off downstairs. You let Lester play his tune, said Laura. I heard. You like him better than me. It's not fair. Oh, don't be silly, Laura, said Mrs Large. Go on then, just one page. So Laura read. She read four and a half pages. Of Little Red Riding Hood. In came the little one with a trunk full of toys for you. He been flinging them all into the bath water. Thank you, dear, said Mrs. Large weakly. Can I see the cartoons in the paper? asked Laura. Can I have the cake? asked Lester. Can I get in with you? asked the little one. Mrs Large groaned. In the end, they all got in. The little one was in such a hurry that he forgot 
take off his pyjamas. There he is, in his stripy pyjamas, having a great splashing time in the bath. Mrs Large got out. She dried herself. She put on her dressing gown and headed for the door. Where are you going now, Mum? asked Laura. To the kitchen, said Mrs Large. Why? asked Lester. Because I want five minutes peace from you lot, said Mrs Large. That's why. I think she's a bit cross. And off she went downstairs, where she had three minutes and 45 seconds apiece before they all came to join her. Oh, I don't think she got her five minutes apiece, did she? 